Hey guys, hi, how are you? Welcome to another underperforming video on YouTube. My name is Juan Carlos, and today I wanna to share with you what we pay for insurance on our Tesla Model Y Performance. I'm also gonna tell you what determines the insurance rate that you pay for your car, and why it is so important that you do research and get a quote before you commit to your next car purchase, unlike us. But first, I would like to remind you that the best way to support my channel is by liking this video if you enjoyed it at the end, and maybe asking a question, making a comment related to the content, and also by subscribing. And if you're considering buying a Tesla, make sure that you go to my description box because I included a referral code that is gonna give you free 1,000 miles at Tesla supercharging stations. That's, that's an amazing deal. I benefited from it when I bought it. Um, I got the link from a friend and I got my first 1,000 miles for free. So you should do the same, especially if you're in the fence about getting a, a home charging station. Maybe those first 1,000 miles will give you an idea of how annoying it is to charge these cars at a supercharging station at all times. I want to believe that I'm an informed buyer, but at the same time, I'm an emotional buyer. Why? Because I love cars. I'm old, especially in YouTube years, so I have made my fair share of car buying mistakes. I bought my first car back in 1992. It was a 1983 Ford Mustang. Since I have bought vehicles about every two years on average, to this day, I have owned 19 cars. Most of them were new car purchases. And check this out, I have never ever inquired about the price of to insure a car before I buy it. I believe that can be a costly mistake. Or Tesla Model Y was no exception, and that is exactly why I'm making this video, because our insurance rate went up a lot. Now, I can take responsibility in this matter because I had heard and read that insuring a Tesla could be more expensive than a conventional gas engine car. I did not want to inquire about it because I didn't want it to be a factor that will dissuade us from buying the Model Y. I actually didn't tell my wife because we were already sold on the idea and I just wanted to get the car. The Insurance Information Institute says that the amount you'll pay for car insurance is impacted by a number of very different factors from the type of coverage you have to your driving record, to where you park your car. While not all companies use the same parameters, here's a list of what commonly determines the bottom line on your auto policy. Your driving record. The better your record, the lower your premium. If you've had accidents or serious traffic violations, it's likely that you'll pay more than if you have a clean driving record. You may also pay more if you're a new driver without an insurance track record. How much you use your car? The more miles you drive, the more chance for accidents. So you'll pay more if you drive your car to work or if you use it to commute long distances. If you drive only occasionally what some companies call pleasure use, you pay less. Location, location, location. Due to higher rates in, of vandalism, theft and accidents, urban drivers pay a higher auto insurance price than those in small towns or rural areas. Where you park your car, is it on the street or in the garage? and anti-theft features may impact the bottom line as well. Other factors that affect the premium price that can vary from one area or state to another are the cost and frequency of litigation, medical care, and car repair cost, prevalence of auto insurance fraud, and weather trends. Your age. In general, mature drivers have fewer accidents than less experienced drivers, particularly teenagers. Insurance companies generally charge more if teenagers or young people before the age of 25 drive your car. Gender. Statistically, women tend to get into fewer accidents, have fewer driver under the influence accidents or DUIs, and most importantly, have less serious accidents than men. So all other things being equal, women often pay less for auto insurance than their male counterparts. Your credit. Similar to your credit score, your credit-based insurance score is a statistical tool that predicts the likelihood of you filing a claim and the likely cost of that claim. The car you drive, the cost of your car is a major factor in the cost to insure it. Other variables include the likelihood of theft, the cost of repairs, its engine size, and the overall safety record of the car. Automobiles with the high quality safety equipment might qualify for premium discounts. Insurance companies not only look at how safe a particular vehicle is to drive and how well it protects its occupants, but also how much potential damage it can inflict on another car. If a specific vehicle model has a higher chance of inflicting damage when in an accident, the insurance company may charge more for liability insurance. The type and amount of auto insurance coverage, the limits of your basic auto insurance, the amount of your 
deductible and the types and amounts of policy options such as collision that are prudent for you to have all affect how much you'll pay for coverage. What's particular about our case is that nothing changed about our situation. If we're still the same two safe drivers, we live in the same place, we commute to work to the same places, and basically the only thing that changed was the car being insured. Uh, remember, my other car was also an SUV and it was an RX350, and they were pretty similar in price. I mean, the RX350 might have been maybe about 5% less at purchase than this, but other than that, they, they have the same safety features and they belong to the same car segment. So the, the, the rate went up merely on the car driven, in this case, the Tesla Model Y. So how much did insurance go up? 17.46%. That's a lot of money to insure a Tesla Model Y performance. It's a lot of money. I can only imagine how it can be for somebody that has a bad driving record or younger um, or that the car being replaced is of considerably lesser value. You'll be surprised how much is that hike. What is 17% more? Um, we used to pay $82.29 per month to insure both cars. The 1989 BMW 325, which I drive to work every day, and the Tesla Model Y Performance, which is driven by my wife every day as well. Now we pay $99.70. That's $17.41 more for auto insurance. We haven't looked into changing companies, but please let me know in the comments if you shopped around and we're able to find a company that was a little bit better at insuring the Tesla Model Y. And please note that the rate for the other car didn't change at all, and that the semi-annual premium for the Model Y alone is $334 with 87 cents. The premium includes the following discounts, multi-car, premium safety, tenure, multi-product, good driver, anti theft device, dual and side airbags. These discounts are a carryover from what we used to have with the RX350. I know that for some of you this may not seem much, but it is a big hike percentage-wise. I cannot help but to think about the Tesla pricing listing strategy on the website where the first price you see includes what they call potential savings, which includes all rebates applicable at the time of purchase and the projected gas savings of $4,300 in our case. That's what I saw. How silly is that? In that case, they should also include any potential price increase uh, associated with owning a Tesla vehicle. I know that every situation is different and you don't buy an expensive car like this to save money. I will never offset the cost of sales tax alone. It would have been cheaper to keep our prior vehicle even if it was not great on gas as we owe nearly only about half of what we paid for the Model Y. But at the same time, you wanna consider everything when making a decision to buy a car, good or bad, pros and cons, and that's where doing the research can help you a lot. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. Lastly, if you need more content like this that you would like to see on my channel, please let me know in the comments as well. Thank you and I'll see you next time.